Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to Now Boarding with Blue Train Mobile. Today we'll be talking about HTML5 web apps versus native apps. And with us today is Blue Train engineer Griffin Mahoney. Thank you. So question number one, what is HTML5? Before we can answer that question, I think it would be better to start with the definition of what HTML is. Now, HTML is a markup language, a standard markup language that all websites are created in. Um, all browsers understand it, and all browsers know how to render it correctly. HTML5 is simply the latest version of HTML. Um, before this, we were using HTML4. Now, HTML4 and all previous versions had a lot of limitations, such as um, they were just essentially unable to render rich multimedia content. Um, and to mitigate this, uh, a lot of people were using technologies such as Flash. And uh, we've all seen in uh, recent, recent years that um, Flash support has been dropping dramatically. For instance, the um, iPhone platform does no longer supports Flash, and uh, new apples are no longer going to ship with Flash functionality. Um, and they're doing this in favor of something called HTML5. Now, HTML5 essentially enables you to incorporate rich multimedia content right into your website, just like Flash would, but without having to install a plugin. So what's the difference between an HTML5 web app and a native app? OK. Um, the primary differences, one being the HTML5 app, is delivered through a browser on your phone, whereas a native app um, is installed directly onto your phone. So to get a native app, you would need to go into the market on your phone or the, uh, the app store, download the app, and it will always, just, uh, always be there as an icon on your phone, and you can always use it from there. Uh, whereas an HTML5 app, you would um, go to a website, and then you would start using the app from there. You wouldn't have to install anything. Now, both have their advantages and disadvantages, such as an HTML5 app is unable to access things on your phone, such as the camera, whereas some disadvantages of a native, a native app are the fact that whenever you want to update the app, your users have to go back into the app store, back into the marketplace, and allow the app to update. And now a lot of users um, get annoyed very easily by this, depending on how frequently you're updating your app. And another big disadvantage is the fact that you have to essentially write four different versions of your app, um, meaning that you need to write one for the iPhone, write one for the Android, write one for BlackBerry, and now start writing them for the Windows phone, um, because an app written for an iPhone will not work on a Windows phone. So in what situation would you choose to build a native app over an HTML5 web app? Okay, well, it's not to say that one type of app is better than the other. It's really a question of what you're trying to do. A good implementation or example of an HTML5 app would be something like Gmail. Now, Gmail is constantly updated in order to give the user the best possible user experience, but it doesn't necessarily need any native functionality of your phone, such as the camera. Where, on the other hand, an app such as Instagram is better suited to be a native app because it needs things like the camera. Great. Most importantly, who is your favorite Ninja Turtle? Donatello. <laughs>